So this is Terry and I when I was 17. In Haiti? Um, in Haiti, uh-huh. This is the year before I came to America. Through a collage of pictures, Norfolk resident Yasmin Charles is transported back to her Haitian heritage. I was 12 when my father um, decided to bring my sister and I here. At 21, she enlisted in the Navy and worked as a cook for eight years. After the military, she attended Norfolk State University. I love my country. I, I'm proud of my heritage, but I'm also ashamed of Haiti. Charles is no doubt devastated looking at the images of the 7.2 magnitude earthquake that hit Haiti on Saturday, reducing the town of Lakai to rubble. 1,400 are presumed dead, two of which are her cousins. This is one of them, Gabriel Fortune, the former mayor of Lakai. Shocked, stunned. We have folks who were sleeping outside last night. There are no tents, no shelters for them to go to. Why? And I'm very angry with the Haitian government. I really am. She says she's displeased with her government. She believes after the 2010 quake that killed more than 2,000 people, emergency plans should have been in place for these types of disasters. I feel like every time Haiti has a natural disaster or some sort of political unrest, we have to rely yet again on the kindness and the generosity of other nations. When we've had millions, billions of dollars poured into Haiti. Just in the last month, she's watched Watch the assassination of the Haitian president, the earthquake, and now tropical storm Grace dumping rain on the country. It's, it's just tragedy on top of tragedy on top of tragedy. She's talking to her extended family daily and trying to figure out a way to get them a passport out of the country and here for a better life. They deserve the same, the same life that I have here in America. So I'm going to get them out of there. Come hell or high water, I'm going to do it. In Norfolk, Chelsea Donovan, News 3.